Hi, I'm Steve Oakes, and I'd like to give you a quick tour through the Speak Out second edition students book. Now, one thing that teachers and students really like about Speak Out is the way it brings the real world into the classroom. Let me give you a taste of that. We went out onto the streets of London and asked people this question. What kind of behavior in public places gets on your nerves? Let's see what they say. Well, wow, screaming babies in like shops and... People with loud voices, uh, people uh, bad manners. When you're on public transport, like on a train, and couples start kissing in front of you. That's just a brief excerpt of one of the BBC interviews that you'll find in each unit of Speak Out. Video clips of different people on the streets of London answering questions related to the unit topic. These interviews provide students with all-important exposure to authentic language, English as it's spoken by people who use the language day to day. If you flip through any Speak Out students book, one of the first things you'll notice is the visual impact. Stunning images set the scene for each unit and draw students into the topic. Look closer at the opening page and you'll find a summary of the topics and specific skills that students work on in the unit, and a link here to the BBC interviews I mentioned before. Now, getting into a unit, each one is made up of four lessons. The first two lessons focus on grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, and skills work. You'll find engaging relevant topics to develop speaking, writing, listening, and reading skills, and a lesson sequence that builds logically and smoothly to help learners understand and express themselves better in English. Here, in this elementary level grammar lesson, students are looking at sentences they've just heard in a radio program. The first task focuses them on the meaning of the two forms, should and shouldn't. The next task focuses them on the form. Finally, they focus on the pronunciation of the two forms. And throughout, it's the students who are exploring the language. Meaningful, personalized practice comes right after. For us, the process of learning is not just about getting better at English, but also about getting better at learning. That's why we get students to take responsibility for and be actively involved in exploring new language themselves. So, if the core grammar syllabus is covered in the first two lessons of each unit, what happens in the other two lessons? Well, since functional language is so important for learners of English, we've devoted the third lesson to this area. At lower levels, these lessons focus on basic situations, such as buying tickets or asking for directions, as you see here in this lesson. The Learn To section of this lesson focuses on particular speaking and listening strategies. Here it's about checking what you understand when someone gives directions. And you'll also find speak out tips, like this one here. This one highlights an important feature of pronunciation. Other tips focus on study skills. As learners move to higher levels, the third lesson helps them develop greater sophistication in the way they express themselves. For example, the language used to handle an awkward situation. You know, when you want to tell someone something that might upset them. Video is a powerful medium to motivate and engage students, especially when it comes from such a quality, authentic source as the BBC. The fourth lesson in each unit is built around an extract of a BBC video program. Here you'll find dramas. I didn't expect an event like this today. Nor I. The water came up so quickly. Documentaries. We're, We're doctors, doctors brothers, brothers and, and twins. twins. And, and we, we both love to eat. But which, which is worse for us? Fat or sugar? Or sugar? Travel programs. Comedies. I always wanted a fairy tale wedding of my own. Will there still time? Do you really think so? Yes. Nature programs. A mother bear and her cub rest on a small piece of sea ice. Even game shows. Hello and welcome to Genius, a show all about you and your ideas. These lessons support learners in dealing with the challenge of understanding English as it's really spoken. The video viewing sequence is followed by the Speak Out task, where students first develop their speaking skills by making a presentation, doing a project, or having a debate related to the topic of the video clip. 
After that, students develop their writing skills through an authentic write-back task, again, connected to the topic. Now, one thing that teachers tell us is that the top of their list is practice. So along with the written and spoken practice exercises you find in every lesson, each unit ends with a look-back section, a series of communicative exercises practicing the key grammar and vocabulary of the unit. You can use these as additional practice while teaching a lesson or as review and consolidation at the end of a unit. There's a series of exercises in the language bank and vocabulary bank at the end of the student's book. Speak Out Extra is a new component providing a bank of additional exercises in grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, skills, as well as further exploitation of the BBC video clips. And finally, along with the workbook, students have a wealth of practice as well as tests in My English Lab so that they and their teachers can measure how they progress as they move through the course. There's so much more that I'd love to show you, but that gives you a taste of what you and your students will find in Speak Out. Thank you for watching.